Hi everyone. I am Joy, um, Don's cousin. Don and I woke up this morning and she said to me, I wish people could see what happened last night and understand what a normal routine is for me. So I told her, well, why don't you let me make a video? So here I am giving you the inside of what last night was like. Um, last night I saw a side of Don's life that I've never seen before. She had seven seizures in a little less than six hours. Last night, uh, they began around like 10 o'clock while she was doing her CF treatments. And just to explain it better, she has two different types of seizures. One is mostly her upper body and affects her back the most. During those types, she likes to be woken out of them, which is very hard to do because you can't just say, Dawn, wake up and ta-da, seizure's over. Um, you can't do that. You actually have to make her brain focus elsewhere instead of on the misfire that her brain is currently having. She asked that during those seizures you only let her be in them for like 10 minutes um, and then try to make her brain focus elsewhere. Um, and that usually comes from a pinch, a very hard pinch, which is very hard for someone to do. Um, you don't want to cause her pain, but at the same time, if you let her seize, her body will ache for hours. Her second type of seizure is, for lack of a better word, um, completely out of our control and focus more on her entire body. We can't wake her up during those. You just have to let them happen, hold her, talk to her, and try and calm her down as much as possible. Dawn and I have been extremely close for many years. We're more like sisters than cousins, and I have never in my life seen it, her life this bad. A glimpse maybe, but nothing compared to last night. We were up from 10 p.m. till 4 a.m., keeping a very close eye on her, making her as comfortable as possible during these seizures. I wanted so badly to give her body a break and for me to trade her places. When she wakes up, she's confused. She can be terrified really scared and extremely emotional. Right now she's having a hard time understanding why she has CF, why she has seizures, and what the lesson is to be learned from this. But I know that my cousin is strong. She is and always will be the strongest person I know. She has taught me how to appreciate the little things like a good night's sleep. She taught me what it means to be brave, thankful, and grateful. Because CF is a genetic disease, there is a possibility that my grandchildren, great-grandchildren, nieces and nephews, may one day live with CF. Um, CF is a disease that is considered fatal and money by science. And we are working hard to raise awareness so that CF can stand for cure found and not cystic fibrosis.